official Android TV, the latest generation processor set up by AM Logic, and the chance to enjoy truly smooth and entertaining multimedia and gaming experience on any TV with design that's currently one of a kind, the new Mikul KM6 Deluxe. We're inspecting. Hey, welcome Tech Pro channel, my name is Michael, so happy to see you around. And actually, I'm even happier that today we're going to talk about this body. That's the Mikul KM6 Deluxe version. So obviously, based on uh, based on the name, yes, there also is a non-deluxe version. So in here, we've got twice more RAM. We have 4 gigabytes RAM. We've got a lot more storage, 64 gigs. And we have a gigabit Ethernet as opposed to 100 megabits for the non-deluxe version. And it's very slim and you can see the design. If you have woodwork furniture at home, that's going to be a nice match. Yeah, and uh, it maintains a very nice slim side. You can see it side by side with the Mi Box S, which I believe is the most meaningful competitor. Uh, it totally looks good. And a nice remote. Where is it? There it is. Which has a few uh, buttons that are quickly launching either YouTube or Amazon Prime Video or... Uh, well, that's not a Netflix button. <laughs> that's the Google Play button. Now, uh, what is interesting about it? Uh, not that much the Outlook, which is definitely unique, and I, I think that's the only TV box that looks like that. I, I think what makes it special is the hardware AV1 encoding, because the processor which is inside this TV box, which is the AM Logic 905X4, is one of the first on the market for TV boxes that brings AV1 codec support. If you haven't heard about that, well, uh, that's normal because it's not so popular yet, but it's about to become. If you check Netflix, they already actively utilize it. And I know that Google and YouTube have been doing some attempts to bring it in for the past year. And I'm pretty sure that in the future, that's going to be the codec being used for video files. Because at a lot smaller file size, it maintains the same video quality as the popular H.264. And probably you know that now we have high efficiency video codec popular as H265 in GoPro, in your smartphone most likely. Problem there is that it requires fees, unlike the AV1. So expectation is it's going to be a lot more often used in the future. Me Cool KM6 Deluxe is among the first Android TV based boxes supporting this codec. The difference is between TV boxes running certified Android TV and those that go for a standard Android is quite serious as well. While Google are making Android TV being not open source a bit more limited and having fewer apps compatible, it has an interface which is much easier to navigate on big screens and there also are the needed certifications to run most streaming services. There's a catch with the KM6 about the Netflix support which I'm going to talk about later. So unboxing feels almost great, we can see the box on the outside, it has good design and highlights most features. Among all the cool options listed, including Amazon Prime Video, AV1 codec support and so on. Inside we won't find anything unusual, very nice texture and a lot different to the common look of these TV boxes. It's very thin and materials feel good to the touch, unlike black paint which immediately shows dust and often fingerprints. This one is a good choice for getting dust on top of it, which will hardly be notable. I like a lot the new style, however realize that there are a lot of people that would always prefer to keep it black. So in that case, you can order the non-deluxe edition. Before we jump onto the software side and explore the feeling and get to know about the user experience, I'll quickly guide you through the specifications. We've seen some at a glance already, but being more detailed, New generation chipsets with a quad-core CPU based on Cortex A55 cores, the quad-core Mali G31 MP2 graphics adapter, 4GB RAM for the Deluxe Edition, paired with 64GB storage, latest from the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth communications, Chromecast built in, good amount of connectivity ports, optical audio out, even AV analog output. To put it in simple words, it's fast. Probably if we accept Nvidia's supremacy in terms of performance, the Mikul KM6 Deluxe is currently the best of the rest. You're going to notice great performance, good responsiveness, very decent for its price point hardware, which is twice as fast as compared to Mi Box S and has a lot more connectivity ports. The installation to a TV is super easy. 
Connect the HDMI cable, power the box on and you're done! As simple as that! The first time you're gonna run the TV box, there's something like a wizard. If you have Android phone, it's going to be much easier because you can drive the process from the phone or enter the data manually using the remote. Anyhow, it won't take too long until you reach the home screen, the standard launcher that Google are now enforcing. And if you want to use alternatives, you have to be creative and remap some of the remote's buttons and functions, but that's rather for advanced users and enthusiasts. The launcher is fluid and is focused on content consumption. You will easily find the latest from YouTube or Prime Video or whichever services you use the most. The remote is great at providing easy navigation with user experience close to most Android TV devices. You can do some fine-tuning on the picture as well as the audio, even Dolby DRC mode is there. There are a few presets for the picture control, you can choose among the few options including Vivid mode, Soft or if you prefer, you can switch to the user preset and kudos to me cool for including such detailed picture controls in the settings. Most needed certifications are present as well, DRM info is the app showing us their grades. And we want to look at Widevine, seeing L1 means that we can enjoy streaming services in high video resolutions. Taking Amazon Prime Video for instance, which worked great. Disney Kids can also be streamed in 4K. There's a big but, however. You see the three buttons on the remotes. The third one, color is close to the one used by Netflix, but you can notice it's not a Netflix button. I don't know why Netflix are not enabling support for me cool devices and honestly, being unable to run Netflix on this TV box is perhaps its only serious drawback. I'm not sure if it's about money or market share or maybe some past relationships, but I would gladly give a few extra dollars to get Netflix enabled on this TV box. So that's the thing, even with proper L1, Netflix need to also authorize a TV box maker for running its software. On the other hand, there's a pre-installed EV TV app, which is the Russian alternative that costs around $5 per month and in some cases has a lot more content. So it's great to see that Mikul at least offer a meaningful alternative. Looking at the app list, there are a few others pre-installed. IPTV app, perfect if you have access to plays based online TV. You have to supply the services though. Also, you're gonna find Twitch, YouTube, YouTube Music and so on. Trying some video playback now. All went smoothly and according to the plan, YouTube is in 4K and such a pleasure to watch. So are the standalone video samples in 4K and you can enjoy playback up to 60 frames per second. No skipping, all is smooth and well responsive and the box won't overheat. Miku always have been good at finding the right balance between cooling and performance. Let us try some games. You probably know that you can play even the latest titles like Cyberpunk 2077 using Google Stradia. I'm going to show you some games that Android TV enabled boxes are good at. Real Racing 3, for instance, having only 2GB on my Nvidia Shield TV at home. That's an issue lately, so great performance with the 4 gigs of RAM that the Mi Cool KM6 Deluxe is packing. Steady graphics, gaming experience was fantastic, excellent results. Similarly, there was very good performance with the other games I've tried. For better experience, get yourself a good wireless controller. The one that I use is no longer being sold online, but you can see some ideas in the links I've put in the video description. The synthetic benchmarks are traditionally hard to run on Android TV enabled boxes. Geekbench 4 shows performance comparable to Snapdragon 810, so it's close to what 2015 flagship smartphones were providing, which is quite enough for great TV experience. You will well notice the good thermal performance. I wasn't able to easily reproduce throttling, the box may be warm but doesn't get hot. There are tons of protocols supported and it's pretty much equipped with everything to be qualified as future-proof. So are there any drawbacks? The major one is called Netflix, apparently. Other than that, I wish to see the deluxe edition in other colors, just in case, but overall I think Mikul have done a remarkable job. Slowly, one step at a time, but they're turning into something like the most powerful Nvidia Shield TV competitor. With the minor Netflix exception mentioned, hardware and performance are a lot better than Mi Box S and every other Android TV based device until now. So if HBO, Amazon Prime and EV TV are good enough for you, that's the best you can currently get at this price from the Android TV media players these days. And I truly hope that this video has helped you to understand better the types of TV boxes and get to know a lot more about the new Mikul KM6 Deluxe. 
Make sure to check the video description, you will find links to the products mentioned throughout this episode and thank you so much for watching this video on my channel. Support me, subscribe, share the video with friends and enjoy life! I'm Michael and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!